AI's interpretation of the properties of the chemical used in the Havana syndrome attack is based on analyses performed on the chemical sprayed on a victim. The weapon is a semiconductor material that is shot at a frequency of 2.45 GH at the victim. The shooting is done in the form of plasma, conductive gas. Unstoppable. The frequency is a Bluetooth frequency that is currently used by all living systems. Therefore, beyond attacking humans, this weapon is capable of disabling any device that transmits at this frequency. From mobile phones, Wi-Fi, to national infrastructures. Because it is broadcast 24-7 via the cellular-slash-internet system, the victim is attacked non-stop. The material contains more than 20 metals, some of which are extremely toxic heavy metals. An AI-based explanation of the properties of the chemical warfare agent used by terrorist criminals. The composition you provided appears to be a complex alloy or mixture of metals and other elements with specific concentrations. Based on the given element concentrations, the following are potential uses for such an alloy, biocompatible materials. If the alloy is designed with biocompatibility in mind, it could be used in medical implants or devices. The material appears to be intended for a sophisticated biomedical application. In particular, the presence of biocompatible metals suggests that the alloy is suitable for medical implants. It could also be used in neuroprosthetic devices, such as cochlear implants or brain machine interfaces. Potential use in bioelectronic devices, such as biosensors or implantable chips that monitor and interact with biological systems. Continued properties of chemical warfare agent in the possession of criminals AI decoding. Potential applications in bioactive coatings that promote bone growth and integration with natural tissues and improve implant performance. Summary, the refined composition suggests that the material is highly specialized for use in implantable biomedical devices. It could be used for a wide range of medical applications, including orthopedic and dental implants, cardiovascular devices, neuroprosthetics, and advanced bioelectronic systems, where biocompatibility, mechanical strength, corrosion resistance, and antibacterial properties are crucial. A nanoconductor that connects with the body and changes phase AI materials, conductive nanoparticles and nanowires can be suspended in a biocompatible liquid medium to form an injectable solution. Applications Once injected, these nanoparticles can assemble into functional electronic circuits within the body, forming a network for monitoring or therapeutic purposes. The material you described, with its various components, has the potential to be engineered into nanotechnological materials for a variety of biomedical applications, including implants. However, careful consideration of toxicity, at the nanoscale, materials can exhibit unique properties that may enable certain forms of phase transitions. The Activation Frequency of the Chemical Warfare Agent AI Summary Based on the composition and typical IR absorption characteristics, Near IR frequencies around 700 to 900 nanometers, 0.7 to 0.9 microns, and mid IR frequencies around 3 to 5 microns are best suited for remote actuation of the material. These frequencies align with the absorption peaks of many of the metals and compounds in your material. Testing specific frequencies in these ranges on the material will help identify the optimal actuation frequency. Communication frequencies used for implants are diverse and find applications in various fields. Bluetooth low energy, 2.4 GHz used in wearables, smart home devices, and wireless peripherals. Infrared IR is used in remote controls, data transfer, and thermal imaging. Explaining how microwave frequency transmission and plasma become sonic weapons, AI microwave energy can cause localized heating. This heating can lead to cross-linking of metal particles, improving conductivity, or, at higher energy levels, to the formation of plasma, a state in which the gas becomes ionized and highly conductive. These methods leverage the interaction between microwave frequencies and conductive materials to achieve desired electronic properties. Infrared sound waves, clarification. The term infrared sound waves appears to combine two different physical phenomena, infrared radiation, a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum with wavelengths longer than visible light, typically from 700 nanometers to 1 millimeter. Infrared is associated with heat and is used in applications such as thermal imaging. 
Infrasound, sound waves with frequencies below the threshold of human hearing. Continued Sonic Weapons AI While both involve wave propagation, infrared radiation and infrasound are fundamentally different, one is electromagnetic and the other is mechanical. Thermoacoustic and Photoacoustic Effects However, there is a fascinating intersection where electromagnetic energy, such as infrared or microwave radiation, can create sound waves through the thermoacoustic effect. When a material absorbs pulsed electromagnetic energy, it undergoes rapid thermal expansion, producing pressure waves i.e. sound. This principle underlies thermoacoustic imaging, where the absorbed electromagnetic energy induces sound waves that are used for imaging purposes. Similarly, photoacoustic effects occur when pulsed light, including infrared, creates acoustic waves in a material. Toxicity of the Substance and Dangers to the Victim, AI The three documents you attached, an XRF report, Thermo Fisher XL3 instrument, an electron microscope report with EDS spectroscopy, and an EnviroLab laboratory report, contain information about the chemical composition of the same substance tested. The substance is dangerous, especially if it involves chronic exposure or penetration into the body. It contains toxic elements and heavy metals in significant concentrations. Here is the analysis, main components found, from the three reports together heavy and toxic metals. Toxicity of the substance and dangers to the victim, AI, element, concentration, mcg gram or percent, health risk. Cadmium CD 0.002%, 20 ppm, very toxic, suspected carcinogen. Lead PB 0.003%, 30 ppm, very toxic to the nervous system. Nickel and I present in EnviroLab report may cause irritation and allergic reactions. Arsenic AS found at very low levels, carcinogenic and requires great caution. Antimony SB detected by XRF toxic, especially by inhalation. Chromium CR 0.004% may be toxic, depending on type. Tin SN present may be toxic at high levels. Toxicity and dangers continued AI subcutaneous exposure or ingestion of a mixture like the one found in the documents can cause serious health damage especially if it is chronic exposure or a substance that is introduced into the body by unnatural means. Below is a breakdown of the possible long-term damage according to the elements found. Neurological damage, nervous system asterisk lead PB asterisk causes brain damage, memory loss, coordination, and concentration impairment. Asterisk in children, developmental delay and decreased IQ. Asterisk can accumulate in bones and release toxins for years. Asterisk cadmium CD asterisk toxic to the brain and nerves, may cause chronic fatigue, headaches, and even dementia over time. Asterisk may cause sleep problems and increased mental stress. Toxicity and dangers continued AI asterisk nickel and I chromium CR asterisk potential for neurotoxicity and nervous system hyperexcitability. Genetic damage and cancer. Asterisk cadmium, lead, arsenic, nickel, and chromium, all are listed by IARC, International Agency for Research on Cancer, as suspected or proven carcinogens. Asterisk subcutaneous exposure via intentional insertion, e.g. subcutaneous implant, increases the potential for dissolution in the body. Lung and respiratory damage, in case of vaporization or internal exposure asterisk cadmium, lung damage, pulmonary fibrosis, tumors. Asterisk nickel, may cause chronic asthma and shortness of breath. Asterisk chromium, CR, is known to be a serious lung carcinogen. Toxicity and dangers continued AI cognitive and mental impairment. Asterisk some heavy metals may cause, asterisk depression. Asterisk anxiety. Asterisk feeling of confusion slash disorientation. Asterisk delusions. Asterisk decreased motivation or emotional harm. Damage to internal organs, asterisk kidneys, cadmium and lead may cause chronic kidney failure. Asterisk liver, exposed to the toxicity of many metals, especially if ingested through the digestive system. Asterisk autonomic nervous system, changes in blood pressure, heart rate, and more. Summary of health hazards from chemical warfare agent, AI summary and recommendations. If there is a suspicion that the substance, Asterisk was swallowed, even in microscopic amounts, 
asterisk was injected under the skin, asterisk or is in the body over time, then there is a significant risk of chronic damage. Recommended, immediate medical tests, asterisk blood and urine tests for heavy metals, PB, CD, and I, CR, as. Asterisk kidney and liver tests. Asterisk neurologist, to check for nerve damage. Asterisk dermatologist if there is a local reaction. Summary and conclusions. This is a chemical substance that is hazardous to health, containing toxic heavy metals and causing a variety of physical and cognitive damage. In the short term, it disrupts function. In the long term, it is fatal and causes premature death. The substance is shot as a plasma, conductive gas, that penetrates everywhere unstoppably. The substance is suitable for creating a subcutaneous implant, transmitting chip. It interacts with biological tissues, such as cochlear implants or brain machine interfaces. Brain control. Using the thermoacoustic and photoacoustic effect, microwave waves create sound waves, which are used as an unstoppable sonic weapon, transmitted by cellular slash internet. The frequencies used in the attack 2.45 GHA frequency that currently operates all devices and infrastructures, therefore disrupts everything in the victim's environment. Summary and Conclusions Understanding the nature of the chemical substance provides a reasoned explanation for everything that those attacked by the Havana Syndrome technology experience. There is unequivocal proof of the cause. Can be identified using an XRF device. Now that the enigma of the Havana Syndrome has been deciphered, now that this horrifying information, that criminal terrorists are poisoning, abusing, and eliminating thousands of people around the world has been revealed, it is imperative that an international task force be established to capture and eliminate the dangerous criminal organization.